Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're not only going to talk about how to use a clinical note, we're going to review how to create a clinical note. Clinical notes are a tremendous time saver for the clinicians in your office. As I've gone to different dental shows throughout the country, the dentists seem to gravitate towards this feature. It's a tremendous time saver. Clean up your process of recording these clinical notes. No more having to do it on paper. Do it directly in the software. And so let's go ahead and review how to create a clinical note. The first step is to click on Add Note here at the top of your screen. And we'll go ahead and go down to Note List. And then from here, we'll go ahead and click on New Note to create our new clinical note. And the note that we're going to create today is going to be for a crown. So we'll go Personal Fused to Metal, our crown. And then we'll select a category. The category that you wish to use isn't there. We can go ahead and add one on the fly. Just click on this little plus sign here. And we'll click on New for New Category. I'm going to create a new category called Major. I'll click on OK. Now it's on my list. And I'll go ahead and I'll save it with this new category major. Okay? We'll go ahead and select that. Next thing is to go ahead and write in our clinical note. Okay? So this is pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and uh, the first thing for our clinical note is we're going to talk about how much topical anesthetic we're using. So we'll type out, type in topical, and then we'll insert the answer to that. So topical, how much uh, is being placed? So to insert that, we're going to go ahead and click on the insert button here, and we'll select questions, and we'll say new question. So we'll go ahead and not only create a question, but we'll supply the answers to that question. Okay? And so we'll go ahead and give this a, a description, which is going to be topical anesthetic. Okay, we'll go ahead and we can even type out the whole question if we want. Uh, what type of oh, topical anesthetic? Uh, are we using? Question mark. I'll go ahead and correct my spelling up here. Where that is. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and supply the answer. Okay, and so we'll select list of answers. And we'll go ahead and add an answer. Okay, and so our answer might be um, is it lidocaine? So lidocaine. If it's not, we'll go ahead and supply another answer. If it's not lidocaine, maybe it's benzocaine. B E N C O C A I N E. If it's not benzocaine, then perhaps it's going to be tetracaine. E -T -R -A -K -I -E. Or if it's not that, um, and I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but it's Oraquix. So we'll go ahead and O R A Q I X. Okay. And when we're finished, we'll go ahead and save our changes. Okay. So the way this question is going to read, it's going to say topical, and then we get to go ahead and pick the variable, supply the it will have the question and then the answer to select from. And I'll show you in a moment how this all comes together. Um, that's how much we're placing. And then we're going to go, okay, how many carpules are we using? As you create different notes, um, you can use those components from your notes to create new notes. Okay, and so I'll show you what I mean. When we click on insert, we'll go ahead and select question. Instead of selecting new question, I already have the information on carpules because I've already been creating crowns. And so I'm going to go ahead and select carpule here. I'll edit it. This is an easy one. I have a carpule and I have my answers. Is it one carpule or is it up to seven carpules? Okay. So we'll go ahead and go out of this and I'm going to select carpules right here as my variable being placed. And so we have X amount of carpules uh, being placed. And then how many, uh, and then the anesthetic dosage, we can go ahead and select that. So we'll go ahead and questions, existing one. We'll go ahead and find our anesthetic dosage. You select it, and that's how much was given. To save a little bit of time, we're going to go ahead and just copy in the rest of our note here. Um, as you can see in the note, we have our can text followed by the variables uh, for that text uh, with the answers for that variable. So um, that's a note. Uh, they're fun. They're easy to create. Uh, let's go ahead and show you how it's used now. Go ahead and click on Save. And uh, so we might be in Paige Davis's charting screen. So I'll go ahead and click on View Chart. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to add a note icon. This is a one-time setup thing. Once you have it, you'll always have it. We'll go ahead and click on Add Code. Okay. And we had a clinical note. I think we called it PFM. So we'll go ahead and find that. That's actually a note 
uh, PFM behind it. Click on that, select that, and then we can clip, find a picture that looks like that note. Um, for our crown, for the fun of it, we'll go ahead and select this gold crown. We'll click on Save. Let's go ahead and we'll select our clinical note tab here, and then we can select the note that we've created, our little icon for the PFM note. Click on that. Let's say we want to add that note to tooth number 31. So we'll click on the note and then click on the two. And then we'll say topical. And then what kind of anesthetic did we use? Maybe we used some lidocaine. So we'll go ahead and double click on that. And then it has how many card pulls did we use? Well, we have one through seven. We set this up and we want to go ahead and go with maybe three card pulls. So double click on that. And then we can go through the rest of the note. It's going to ask us the questions. And we just type in the answer that we've created the many selections that we have here. Bond brand, go ahead and select the bond. How many uh, composite shades? And just go ahead and supply the answers and that quickly and that easily we, we go ahead and save our note. Go ahead and follow this through. Uh, we also have training and so if this is a little confusing for you give us a call. Um, we have training packages that you can get um, or you can just buy one hour of training. It's $99 per hour. Once you have your clinical note you can go ahead and lock it down immediately by just double clicking here. This doesn't allow anybody to change your clinical note. It also attaches your name to it if you've entered the software with your password. Um, later on, if you want, you can even print out your clinical notes if you wish to share those um, with other practices. You can see that it's locked. Um, so this is a very powerful feature, a huge time saver for your office. We hope you'll use it.